Hi, Betsy Farmer here, co-founder of Promise in Brevard. We are so excited to be able to give you an update on where we are with our Promise Creative Art Center project. All thanks to the Gannett Foundation and our uh, Community Thrives grant. While the Creative Arts Center is being constructed on our main campus, we've been hosting our art therapy classes in the donated space at 1419 Gallery in downtown El Galley. Under the direction of our talented Creative Arts Center manager, Julie Kessler, our promoters have learned a variety of techniques and art mediums allowing them to express themselves through their art. Hi, I'm Julie Kessler. I'm at the Art Center at Promise and I am the Art Center Manager. I'd like to show you what we've been up to in this space, so come on in. This is going to be our studio space. It's a really large space. We're going to have lots of shelves, big tables for the Promisers to work at. We're going to be doing all kinds of mixed media, paintings, recycle type artwork. We're also going to have a clay studio in this space. Over in this area we have a quiet room. Uh, this is for promisers that maybe need to have a little bit quieter space to work in or for special projects. Over in this space, we're going to have um, uh, pottery wheels because we're going to be uh, creating pots and throwing uh, clay on the wheels and have a, uh, um, a, a large uh, sink space over here, library for art books. This is going to be our kiln room where we dry out all of our ceramics and clay pieces and fire them. We're going to have a front-loading kiln so that um, promisers that um, may have, uh, may need, that only have wheelchairs uh, will have access to load the kilns. Heading back over to this space over here, this is our large gallery uh, where the promisers are going to be able to sell their art to the public. We have a um, large window over here where they're going to be creating a recycle uh, mosaic uh, frame that's going to go around this window. And this is going to be where the public can come in and actually see what we're up to in this space. Over in this area here, we're going to have our countertop, which is also going to be a recycle project um, of all recycled materials, um, dressers, found objects kind of another type of a mosaic project for the promisers to work on. And then right over here, this is just a sample of some of our tables that are going to be in the studio space. We can't wait till our art center is complete so that our promisers in the community can work side by side to create lasting art. A perfect example of this collaboration was last month when Promise participated in the Facebook holiday giving campaign. With the support of USA Today and Florida Today, we streamed a live video for our promisers local artists, local leaders working together to create a great canvas. As you can see, the grant money has been hard at work. We actually finally have walls. They're putting the electricity in and the air ducts. We've ordered our sink and the wood for the shelving. This place is gonna be so amazing. So many lives are gonna be changed just by what's happening here. We are so close, you can almost smell the acrylic paint. In recent months, we have seen firsthand how art breaks down social barriers by providing a new creative outlet for our promisers to express themselves. Thanks to A Community Thrives, this project has generated an outpouring of community interest and support. We are changing the world for our promisers, and our promisers are changing the world.